All right, let's talk about ADHD, diagnosed or not, and hyperfixation foods in meals. If you've ever heard of these, I am one of these people. I do not have ADHD that I know of, um, but I am a person that does hyperfixate on meals and snacks. Um, this could be a thing for you, like I said, if you don't have ADHD. Um, a hyperfixation food or meal is something that we can eat over and over again without getting tired of it for an extended period of time until we get the ick from it and move on to another food. Uh, for example, butter, buttered, bleh, butter, buttered noodles every night for dinner for three months and then avocado toast for four months, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right now, my favorite thing in the world is a burger salad um, that I normally get at restaurants and I uh, just make it at home. Um, I, did, I normally switch between a salad that I like and a soup that I like and I just kind of have those on hand and I switch them off and on because I just cannot get tired of them for some reason. Um, I could eat them every single day and be like, yes, perfect, chef's kiss, even though none of the ingredients really vary that much. Um, so this doesn't sound like it could be an issue. Nutritionally, it is, though, by taking out the variety that we all need in our diets. So if you're a person that has hyperfixation foods, please eat them. Absolutely. Um, but make sure you're varying them in some way by adding or switching up the vegetable you put into it. Um, that makes it basically the same, but just a little bit different. Um, or if you don't want to change the meal at all, make sure that the rest of your day is filled with variety and color so you're getting those nutrients in. So my hyperfixation right now has to be a burger salad. So that has a ton of different vegetables in it. So like that's great. But I'm also eating, um, you know, berries. I'm eating apples. I'm eating carrots and celery. I'm eating... Um, you know, an egg frittata. I'm eating my dinner, which is like some form of protein, starch, veggie, and um, carb. Um, you know, I'm still eating all of these other things and making sure that I'm having a lot of variety, even though I'm eating that salad every single day. Um, and it might not necessarily be a salad. It's just kind of my kick right now. Um, I go through them where I love salads for like three months, and then I absolutely despise salads for like six months. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, salads are so good. And it comes back for a couple of months. Um, so it's kind of like that. Um, but just make sure you're filling your day with variety if you do have hyperfixation foods that are more like plain butter noodles. Um, add in maybe peas to it. You know, if you're feeling like, you know what, I should switch it up, but I still really want the comfortability of the hyperfixation meal. Or again, like I said, you don't want to do it. You don't want to change it. Perfectly fine. Make sure you're eating the rainbow throughout the remainder of the day. If you have any questions on hyperfixation foods, feel free to comment below.